Christmas isn't Christmas without the perfect trifle. And what better person to show us her version than Trish from Cadbury. You always make the best desserts mm -hmm. and I'm sure you are a very good trifle maker. <laughs> I've made a couple of trifles in my time, can I tell you? And this one is a really particularly good one called chai, toffee and berry trifle. Mm, so a bit different. I can smell that, the, the chai. chai, it's from a mile away. I mean, it's so <laughs> strong, you can smell the cinnamon and the clove in it. Mm. I just know this is going to be pretty darn good. Well, it just gives a different sort of dimension to the yep. flavour, which I think is fantastic. So let's start. Um, firstly here, we need to make a, a lovely thick custard. Yes. So we need to combine the milk with some custard powder and some sugar okay. and just allow that to come to the boil and thicken and then we need to allow it to cool and because it's got quite a lot of custard powder for the amount of milk, sorry mm -hmm. there's your sugar yep. and some custard powder, because it's got quite a lot of custard powder in it for the amount of milk, you'll find it makes it really quite a thick gluggy custard but that's exactly what we want. So we just mix that all together. Um, all right. Just while you're doing that I was just going to say what we have in here this sort of strange dark liquid is actually the chai tea bags. Um, we need to combine a third of a cup of boiling water with six chai tea bags. So I know that's a lot, like mm. it's pretty concentrated nice. but we want to get that lovely full flavoured chai brew going there. All right the other thing that can be happening over there whilst you're waiting for that to come up to the boil we're going to make a toffee. Mm -hmm. When you're making a toffee you need to ensure that the sugar is dissolved first before you actually allow it to come to the boil and once it's come to the boil then you stop stirring and then allow it to do its thing. The longer it goes the smaller the bubbles get and then it eventually will start to turn beautiful golden and then it's time to take it off. I'm on the on the pots and pans oh, today, you're, aren't I? You're a busy girl. Yeah. <laughs> the other thing we've got there is some simmering water. Yeah. And what we need to do is to put in half a block of the Cadbury milk baking chocolate. Mm -hmm. I'm going to break that up. And this is going to go into the custard whip that we're making, but not right now. We just need to allow it to melt. Okay, so that so can just can... melt slowly. I actually think we could probably turn that completely off. Yep, yeah, turn okay. that heat off. There's enough heat turn in that, that water off. underneath. Remember when you're melting chocolate, a nice clean bowl um, over simmering water and the water doesn't need to be in contact with the bottom of the bowl otherwise the chocolate will get too hot. All right, that is looking good. That's thickened up so I guess we can mm -hmm. take it off the heat there. Yes, once it's come up to the boil it'll thicken up beautifully and then we need to allow that to stand in the refrigerator until it's quite firm mm -hmm. and then we can get on with the toffee. Right. So our custard has chilled nicely. Look at this. Our toffee is beautiful. And what we did was to sprinkle it with some cinnamon as soon as we'd spread it out. Mm. So I'm going to actually take those bits off and then we'll keep some of that for decoration. Um, in the recipe it does say that you can do this in the food processor, mm -hmm. but um, I'm just going to chop it roughly on the bench here. Okay. Okay, so while I'm chopping, Justine, if you could get on with the filling, that'd be great. Yep. The custard. So we need to just pop that in and beat it until it's smooth. And you can add the filly to that gradually. Okay. It makes a really luscious custard, very creamy. Oh, listen to that. Good toffee. Sounds pretty good. It does. We've just softened this too, haven't we, Trish? Just to make sure it's easier to yeah. incorporate. chai tea mm -hmm. and don't forget the chalky. So in that goes slowly so we don't get any splatters <laughs> and this looks even better. I might have to chalky. I might just stop our mixer just quickly and we've got milk chocolate here but mm -hmm. we could probably use the dark chocolate or white. Mm -hmm. We could use two. I'm going to grate the second half of it here put that into the trifle as well. All right, one ready. more mix. Last hurrah, off we go. <laughs> put it together. All right, that looks amazing. Good enough to <laughs> eat as is. <laughs> right, let's assemble. Mm -hmm. So we need to start with cake. 
Now, of course, you can make your own cake if you have the time, and there are a number of fantastic chocolate cake recipes on cabrykitchen.com.au. Mm -hmm. Do you want me to chop that yes, up? Yes, please. Into... Just chop it up. Okay. It just makes it a little bit faster to put together. That's all right like yeah. that? Oh, yeah, that's big. There, that's yeah. chunky. So we put, <laughs> we put half of the cake in the bottom. Okay. So what type of liqueur do we have? Um, that's a coffee-flavoured liqueur, mm. but you might prefer a hazelnut-flavoured or chocolatey kind of one. Or... And we're just sort of drenching mm. the cake. Half the custard. Half the custard. Okay. Ever so gently, making sure we don't... Oh, yum. How good does that look? Oh, OK. OK, half the chocolate. Mm -hmm. mm, I, like I said, I can still smell that chai. Mm. Just delicious. Now we need to put the strawberries. Okay. If you can just chop quickly, sure thing. Chop in those half. in half. Oh, I think keep in it half. quite rustic. Yeah. yeah, just pop them in like that. I'm going to put in the toffee while you're doing that. So how many strawberries? All of the strawberries. Oh yeah, put them all in the middle. All right, all right. Some more cake. Some more cake. Just chop that up. All right. So I guess another layer of chocolate. Mm -hmm. We just repeat the process until it's all full. That's right. So we've finished the layers. Now for the pièce de résistance. The Take it away. Of toffee. <laughs> I always think that this is a bit uh -huh. of a bit of a you know 80s flashback. Wow. But I love the fact that it's really big and looks um, <laughs> looks really full on. I think yeah, that's what? amazing for a family thing. Because yeah. everyone will just go, ooh, ah, look how amazing that looks. And these are so easy to make. Of course, be careful when you're making toffee at home, but it's very easy just pouring it straight onto some baking paper like we did. And you've got these perfect shards straight in there. Wow. Looks amazing. This is so good. I have to <laughs> taste it straight away. Immediately. Oh, Do we have a spoon? Right up. <laughs> Do you want a small spoon or a big spoon? Oh, big. why are you asking that question? <laughs> you know I want a big spoon. Yeah, I know. All right, I'm just going to dig in just over here. No matter how old you are, everyone loves a good trifle. Yeah, totally. It's the ultimate party dessert, I think. Mm. Is it good? Mmm. That was such a silly question because that <laughs> is the best trifle I've had. That with the chai tea mm. in there, the chocolate, of course, a layers of chocolate, chocolate cake, strawberries. That is just perfect. <laughs>